Hi everyone. Right, I just wanted to show you a couple more bits that I bought today for myself. I did go out and treat myself. I managed to get myself some of these uh, little scissors. As you know, I brought my blue... Oops, I nearly brought them. I brought my blue handled ones and uh, I needed some of the points on that was a good cut. Uh, and I found these. can't remember who they're made by, but they're, they're, they're really good anyway, so quite sharp. Uh, I also bought myself the frayed burlap. Um, distress ink and I bought uh, the brush corduroy as well which I've not tried yet but I will be trying those now I did say I'll come back and show you how to do this flower I hope you can see that and the way to do it is I've just cut um, some mulberry paper into circles they don't have to be perfect whatsoever um, fold them in half cut whatever size you want um, for this size though, this size flower, I'll tell you the, what um, width they are, they're 7 centimetres wide and um, for those who want the old fashioned one, two, two and a half, two and a half will be big enough. Um, fold it into half and then fold it again, you're doing a third and then fold that back. Take your scissors and chop round. That's all you do. Like that. And then open that up. Round anything off if they're not quite the same. It doesn't matter. Because in this one you're not really going to need them like that. And they don't have to be perfect anyway. Then just snip down the middle of each petal. Uh, between each petal, should I say. Like that. Okay. Now you're going to need two of those, uh, three of these, sorry. So again, fold in half, fold in a third, and then fold that back. And if they're not quite right size, snip them off like that. Just do that. You only get the basic shape of a petal. See, the mine are not perfect. You don't need them perfect, to be honest. round that bit off, that's all, and that bit. So we're going to need three of those. Just get another one. And there you go. So you can see mine are not perfect, but they don't have to be. That's the best thing about these type of flowers when you're doing them by hand. If you've got a die cut for six petals, good, that's fine, use that as well. I'm just showing people who basically don't have these materials to work with, uh, like die cuts and things like that. Anyway, once you've got those, figure out which is the right way, and then just fold each petal in half, like that, see? fold all of them in half I hope my uh, camera lasts me long enough to do this right what you're going to need then is some glue I, I will use a heat gun I think uh, the heat glue hot glue oh dear ah, I'm losing it today it's because I don't feel so good and just pinch that together so I've put the glue here halfway down pinch that together and then just open the top out and flatten it what you're doing is you're pushing, you're pinching that together at the base and then you're pushing, oh, put your finger between the two petal, uh, the two ends, two sides, sorry, and then bend it back so you've got that. So you, you do only need a little tiny speck of glue, basically. Pinch it together and then open it up with your finger and press that, like that. Never mind all the stringy bits, you can pull all them off later. Right, what we're doing now is just gluing the uh, flowers together. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't use glue uh, the glue gun. I did on this one, but on the first one I didn't. I just used the uh, glossy accents and that was good enough. Um, and I think I'd just carry on using the glossy accents because you don't need a lot. But I put two lots together and now I'm just going to put this third one together like that. And that's all you're doing is popping them together like that. 
and you can move them about and whatever you want to do with them and open the petals up or whatever which is what I did and you're getting a little flower like that then I've taken these flowers which I bought today at the market and um, they were like a, a bunch of um, hydrangeas were there something like that lots of these together in a big stem and I just cut them all off and thought oh they'll make flowers or inserts of flowers so just pop a little bit of glue in the middle and then um, stick that in and there you've actually got your flower right and I think the two work well together and then basically all I did was I took my glitter glue and uh, just put some glitter glue on the ends of the petals of the dark purple um, but I forgot to put the stem on all you do to put the stem on right and this is all you do um, you need a sharp instrument put a hole through put another hole through about half a centimetre away from it like that and then you bend over the stem like that you see you got a little hook like that pop that through one side and you'll do all the flowers together because they'll be glued on together and then just do that and then you take your other pliers and you just pinch that together like that and you've got your flower like that 